Hey guys, I am super excited to share today's recipe with you. We are going to be making an easy stovetop, Velveeta style, chicken, cauliflower mac and cheese. So chicken is totally optional, but ups the protein, ups the texture, the flavor. That's what we're gonna show you how to make today. So first things first, we are gonna steam our cauliflower. We have one large head and we chopped it up into bite-sized florets. You can see really any size preference you want. We're going to get a large stock pot heating, high heat. And we have about what, like a, like half a cup of water in the bottom. And we're going to bring that to a boil, then add in the cauliflower and allow it to steam for five to seven minutes until it's fork tender. If you have a better steaming process, like a steaming pot or you know some other method you like to do, even in the microwave, go for it. But this is what we're gonna show you how to do today. All right, so the water is slightly boiling, so we're gonna add in our cauliflower. And then we're gonna cover it with a lid so it can just steam in there and get nice and tender. And we're back. It's been about six minutes, so let's take off the lid. And I'm pretty sure it's done. Let's give it a fork test. Yeah, that still has a really nice bite to it. You probably go a little longer if you want it tender, but it'll cook, continuously cook a little once we take it off the heat even. We're gonna drain this, and then we're gonna put the cauliflower back in the original bowl. And now we're gonna use the same pot originally that we steamed the cauliflower in to make our cheesy Velveeta chicken sauce before we add the cauliflower back in for the final recipe. So we've got the stock pot heating to medium and I'm gonna add in three fourths cup of broth and the chicken to start. Then we're gonna add in our chicken. So for your cooked chicken, I mean, we just had leftover chicken on hand, so you can, but you can use rotisserie chicken. You can cook your own chicken before you do this. All right, so it's just been about a minute. I just wanted to get the broth heating and the chicken heating. So we turned up the heat to medium high, and we're just gonna add a bunch of ingredients in to get this creamy cheese sauce we're working on. So half a cup of cream, four tablespoons of butter, we have four ounces of cream cheese here. And then we're gonna add in the seasonings, which is half a teaspoon of pink salt. And you can always taste test it and then add more salt and pepper. That's the easy part. We're gonna add in half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then for a nice little kick, we are going to add in some cayenne. So you can do as much as you want or as little. I'd probably just go like a nice dash, give it some color and some spice, but not too much. I'm not a big spice fan. So we're just gonna wanna heat this through and get everything melted down before we add in our cheddar cheese. Now that everything has melted down, you can see it's nice and smooth and creamy. We're gonna add in the last ingredient, which is our cheddar cheese. And we're gonna do about one and a half cup. I'm just eyeballing it. Cause you can never have too much, I don't think. That was probably more than a cup and a half, but a multi-cheese like a Mexican or like a Colby Jack, anything that melts well, like a Gruyere would make it nice and fancy. Heat this through. You can already tell, look at that. That's a heaven sauce. I could bathe in this. Matt, would you want to bathe in this? Is that your, this isn't your thing, right? I'll make a bath for you though. Oh my God, this looks so good. I'm so excited to try it. So I turned the heat down. We don't want it to like get too boiled or heat through. This is perfect right now. But I mean, if you guys were anything like me, you ate a lot of Velveeta shells. You just, you, you used Velveeta and Rotel to make the perfect queso dip for like football parties. Um, and this is exactly the texture of Velveeta. Let's just add our cauliflower back in, heat everything through, and then we're good to go. Let's just mix this through. Oh yeah. Doing it this way, like having a cheese sauce is gonna guarantee not only that you have enough cheese, but that every piece of cauliflower is coated to no end. Cause you know, you can sometimes make it like baked style in the oven and not everything's cheesy enough, but this, this is a high cheese to cauliflower ratio. Okay, that looks good. So now if I was serving this to like a dinner party or just to my family even, I'd top it with some additional cheddar cheese and some fresh chopped up 
parsley. That would give it some color, a little flavor, but I'm gonna try this right now. And you could even amp up the flavor. So next time I'd probably do garlic powder, maybe some cumin powder. Let me get in here, get some cauliflower, get some chicken. Mmm. oh my God, that cheese sauce is phenomenal. The chicken adds a nice little, it's very different texture from the cauliflower because the cauliflower still has a nice bite, a nice crunch, and then you get like the hearty chicken. I highly recommend this. This is way better than our other cauliflower mac and cheese on our site. Give this a go. Oh my God, this is this is like liquid gold, right? Isn't that what they call it? The recipe and everything on how to make this exactly is linked below. We even have an instant pot version. We have all the recipe and the directions for that as well below. Once you make this, once you eat this, please tag us on Instagram because I wanna see the glory of the liquid gold in your mouth.